Hello, scholars, and welcome back to Art Online with Ms. Haynes. Okay, friends, let's get started with our dream vision glasses. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand right here because I want to make sure that I have some space left on the side. And then I'm going to go in with my curved line. When you're curving your line, you want to think about the shape of your head. And for me, my chin starts to get a little narrow towards going down. So you see my curved line going that way. I'm going to come over here so I get an idea again of where I want to start. Cool. And then I'm going to draw my curved line again. And then once again, I'm narrowing in towards the bottom. After I have that, if you want to make sure that your line for your glasses are super straight, you can take another piece of paper. You can come down. I'm doing about like a hands left down. So that top part is going to be my forehead. There we go. I'm making sure that I put my paper straight across. And then I'm going to draw my line. This is the top part of my glasses. There we go. Or you can call them your shades, whatever you want to call them. Now I'm going to pause on my glasses and draw my ears. So I'm just doing a curved line down. You can again take your paper to make sure if you want your ears to line up. And that way you know where you want your ears to stop on the other side. I'm curving and I'm going down. This is good practice to help us measure with paper because you don't always have a ruler on hand, but paper works just fine. I'm going to go ahead and draw the inside of my ear, the inside of my ears. Just follow the line shapes that I'm doing. And now you get you some realistic looking ears. All right, now that we have the top part of our shades and we have our ears drawn let's get into the shape of our um glasses you can make your glasses your shades your goggles whatever you want to call them any type of shape the one thing you want to pay attention to is making them stop around where the ears stop because we're drawing these oversized glasses so watch here i go i am going to do a nice curved line i'm going to stop where i feel is like close to the middle so Right around here, and I'm going to start curving, and then I'm going to come back down, and I'm still paying attention because I want my curve to end up where my nose, where the end of my ear was. All right, so I have that shape of my glasses, and now I'm going to keep it going. Do this curved line on this side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Come in, I'm going to go around. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to work on drawing my nose. So with my nose, it's a small hump, big hump, little hump. So I'm doing small hump, Big hump, little hump. And voila, you have your nose. Get and drop my smile. Because we like what we are seeing, friends. We like what we are seeing. I'm going to give a U shape for my cheeks. Do the same thing on the other side. So that means I'm going to go down one more time and come back up. And then I'm going to draw a line across. So now it's like... You got some really big teeth. You're smiling from ear to ear. Okay, now I am drawing my hairstyle. I'm speeding through this step. Go ahead and draw your hairstyle along with me. Remember, this is about you and your vision. Now it's time to get into the good part. Now you're going to draw your vision goggles. What are things you want to see happen in the future? I want to continue to see people show love. So I'm going to draw a heart. I also want to become see myself becoming a better artist. So I'm gonna draw a pencil to remind myself to keep practicing. I also want to travel more in the future. So I'm gonna draw me a nice little globe down here to represent the world. 
I'm going to draw a smiley face because I want to see people being kind in the future. So I drew that. I still feel like I am going to be living in New York. So I'm drawing me a nice New York skyline right there because I love, love, love living in New York. I'm going to draw a star because I see myself and my scholars shining in the future, just like a star. They are already art stars and they always rock it out. Okay, and after that, Prince, you can add a nice cool design to your um, shades, your glasses, your goggles, whatever you wanna call them. All right, so now I'm gonna show you another step that can make your glasses really pop. You can either stop right there if you don't have any more paper or you can continue this next step. So this next step is really cool because we're about to cut and paste. I am going to trace over the Lens, so that's the part that we wrote about our future. We drew pictures of our future in. I'm going to trace over the shape of the lens. And I'm going to bring it up to the very top part of my shades. I'm going to draw a line where my lens stop, and I'm going to copy the, the exact design of the top of my lens. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I am tracing my lens shape, the shape of my lens. But there we go. And then I'm also going to go up to the top where the top of my glasses stop too. And then I'm going to make sure I copy the same pattern that I had drawn out. Now, friends, it's time to cut this out. All right, friends, I have cut out this and so cool because now all you do is you put the glue right in the very top part where you have the part of the shade that's above the lens. Only on this part, only on this part. After I have my glue, I am going to apply it to that portion of the lens. After I added my glue, <gasps> whoa, now your vision is a secret and you can keep it and share it only with the people who you feel deserve to see your vision. <laughs> and then I'm just going to do a nice little crease fold, a nice little crease fold. That way they can pop open and close. One thing I'm going to do right here is I'm going to make this have the little reflection that you see on a lot of glasses. There you go. So now pop open. Isn't this so cool, right, friends? I love it. Now, it's time to color.